And for the next presentation, I'd like to welcome Mr. Lucio Pilot from Costa and Mr. Paolo Amy from Fespa to give a presentation on the coil-to-coil -coil polishing line. Welcome, gentlemen. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Gentlemen, I'd like to thank you first, the Kawaja family, to invite us here to this nice evening. My name is Lucio Pilot from Costa and it's Paolo Aime from Fastbar. Yes. We are two Please. separate companies uh, specializing in coil processing uh, machine and specializing in polishing machine. But we join together always when we have a polishing line to complete. Very nice. Okay, we will also do a very short uh, presentation of our company and then step into the line. Uh, Paolo will start with the Fastbar presentation. Fastpar is uh, a company that is founded in uh, 1966, and uh, we are located near Milano in, uh, in an area of uh, 80,000 meters square. We have a family company, as uh, many companies in Italy, that the, is a Bernard's family company. We are the third generation of the family company, and uh, uh, all uh, we have no know-how inside the company for mechanical, electrical, and so on. This is uh, some of the, our type of processing. In this case, we're processing with uh, uh, Costa Ligatrici, the coil-to-coil -coil finishing line, but we also produce a slitting line, cartooning line, and all other this. But in this case, we speak only about the coil polishing line. Many customer of uh, that use our line is a steel service center in the automotive, in the construction, in the white guard industry. In this case, we have a, a supply at one of the, our best customers, Midest Oark, and also to the other main customer. Around the, of the world, we have many uh, line over 300 in different type that you can read on the presentation and now we pass the phone yeah. to the okay. Costa for to present yeah. the Costa. Costa family it goes back uh, almost 100 years but in uh, 55 they start producing a machine and in 92 uh, the, the Costa Levigatrici machine we specialized uh, exclusively in polishing sanding and brushing machines We employ about uh, 200 people in three plants in the northeast of Italy, is a highly industrialized area. Okay, and uh, we produce yearly uh, about 400 machines, divided in universal deburring machine, brushing and polishing, drying and wet, and uh, uh, grinding and um, polishing machine for coil to coil or sheet to sheet. And now we arrive directly to the uh, machine that we supply to Midesta. That is a coil-to-coil -coil line. Uh, the please. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Back. Sorry. Okay. With this line, we can polish in coil-to-coil -coil with a finish number three, four airline scotch blight and duplo. The material that we can polish in is the most common stainless steel with a high stress tension in the range between 0.5 up to 30 millimeter and with the coil width is 1,600 millimeter. This is the data, the general data of the line, but after we will arrive in details of each line, of each part of the line, the coil is up to 20 tons, the width is 1,600, as we said, different diameter internal and external. It's the same for the recoil, and the speed of the line is up to 30 meters per minute. This is a specified list of each part of the line, but we will see this on the layout that now we will see on this. In specify, we have, sorry, Okay. Yeah. We have the input part of the line where you can load the coil and you can decoil the coil to introduction in the line. 
the second part of the line is the pinch row with the shear where you can crop the, the material in the beginning and in the middle of the coil. The edge trimming unit, because this line can process contemporary polishing and reduce the width of the coil. This is important. There is uh, the two head. In this, in, uh, in, uh, in this case, there is installed only the first, the second end, sorry, with the polish and brushing unit, but is the only thinking to install a new head for polishing the bottom part. In this case, the line can work on the top part, uh, and in the future, they can also work on the bottom part with the polishing. The PVC unit is the, the, the last part, tensioning and recoiling. This is a, a overview of the line where you can see the decoil and the, the, all the part of the line that is composed. And we go in particular on that part. The coil car, with the coil car you can load the coil of up to 20 tons on the decoiler. All the, all the machine is motorized in AC motor. The AC motor is most important because it's controlled by inverter. And in this case, we make we use the regenerator system, uh, called it also care system, to save energy because we use the energy of the braking in the motor to uh, supply the energy of the other part of the line. In this case, uh, if you sum the effective power of the line, for example, 100 uh, kilowatt, the real consumable power of the line it's only the 50%. This is the most important for the city energy in the world. After the, the corner part, there is the edge trimming part to reduce the width of the coil during the uh, processing in contemporary. In, in this case, you can also adapt the uh, original width with different width of the customer requirement. In this case, there is the Costa unit that now Mr. Lucio explained. Yeah, there is a view of the machine. Okay, and the laser point here. Okay, this is okay, all the machine in the line. This is the internal where we have two uh, uh, sending belt units to reproduce the number four. And then uh, Mideast choose also to purchase the two scotch bright unit for the brushing finishing. In this case, if you use both belt and the brushing, you can uh, produce duplo finishing. The duplo finishing. Okay. This is the end of the line with the PVC coating and, and then the recalling. Yes, and the recoil part. Okay. okay, this is the choice they've made uh, uh, Mideast to buy the dry polishing line. Okay, because nowadays with the technology of the abrasives, with the same with the same bending belt in dry units, you can reach the same finishing as the aspect and roughness of the wet machine. And uh, to proceed, produce with the dry machine is even more environmental friendly. You don't have the waste and to recycle all the oil and emulsions that you have on the wet machines. And with the dry polishing, one advantage for the end user is when you have the finished product after bending, uh, cutting, or punching, you can also do some retouching because you always can scratch the, the sheets when you proceed. And when you have a wet finishing, it's very hard to achieve the same finishing. So when you, when you deliver the finished product, you will see a difference. In the dry finishing, it's very easy, with the suggestion then of your supplier, to obtain the same grade finishing. Okay, the advantage then to, to invest in a coil line is when you work at the same speed with a good tensioning of, of all the coil line, you have a constant finish of, uh, of the coil from the beginning to the end. And then when you stock the coil for the customer, the customer can have the same finishing even if you purchase the, or if uh, collect the sheets in the different times during the years. And to obtain this uh, constant finishing, is uh, important to have a very good tension in the line. This good tension is obtained between the tension between the color recorder and all the pinchers that are in the line. In, and with this, you have a high uh, quality with the flatness 
during the decoiling, and you can produce a very high quality of the surface. Okay. Sorry. Well, no, if you go ahead, we can reach. Okay. Okay, this is about uh, uh, cutting the sheet from the coils, and then you can store and deliver to the customer the same finishing on the same lot. Yes, the position of this is uh, why you work uh, not sheet to sheet but coil to coil, because with a coil to coil, you can have in stockage all uh, the type of of the type of product directly ready to cut it in, in lengths at the uh, require of the customer. Okay, the line of course is the most advanced uh, line with the uh, top technology where all the line is uh, controlled by dedicated uh, software and you can monitor any step of the line so you have control of every step to guarantee the perfect finishing in time. Okay, and you can store a receipt. Uh, for each customer, so each customer can have his recipe, uh, finishing, uh, cutting speed, uh, sending belt to use. So every time you just recall the, the product with a code, if you wish, and then you can guarantee along the year they will have the same product that you require. Okay. The choice of uh, Mideast uh, to purchase also scotch Bright because uh, in Europe, which is, I think, uh, uh, a good market also for uh, Mideast to export, for the Middle East to export, okay, is that architectural, they use a lot, you know, in kitchenware and uh, finishing elevator as well, the scotch Bright finishing, and also in the pharmaceutical industry, um, food industry, they require very low roughness, okay, to maintain bacterial free. So the Scotch-Brite can reduce a lot this roughness without going into using a wet machine that you need to reprocess sometimes in the sheets. Okay. So this is the investment of Midis to deliver the custom and high quality product. Enter inside new markets, which can be Europe, where is very well welcome. Number four, dry finishing, duplo finishing, which is a mix between uh, dry belt finishing and uh, Scotch Bright, and total Scotch Bright finishing. Thank you for we your thank you very much for your uh, attending. This hour.